Yo, what's going on? So, good morning. I am, this video is gonna be kind of like a random vlog. We're gonna check out a new sneaker store that just opened up in our area, but also our good friends over at Espresso Cuts. They have been open for about two weeks now, but I kind of wanted to put it on YouTube just because one, I am a avid consumer of their coffee. And so that's where we're going right now. I just want you guys to know if you guys are in the Ontario area, that is, you know, uh, probably the number one place to go for coffee if you guys like Latin styled coffee. Uh, they also have a really good cold brew and you know, they're also just super friendly, super nice. But anyways, we're over here at the uh, library. So this is the Ontario library. And you can see right here, there's their sign that says Espresso Cuts Coffee. So uh, pretty much it's gonna be kind of a random place to park. So there, there's a park right there. You can park on the streets. There's Wells Fargo right there. So it's located in downtown Ontario, but uh, this is kind of how you get there. So you could either go into the library or you can walk down this way. Even though there's a super loud plane, uh, you guys can enter through here. They do have a patio and they have like a sign right over there. We'll do some B-roll right now as we, you know, figure all this stuff out, but yeah, let's go get some coffee. Some espresso cuts coffee. I did get a pumpkin spiced pumpkin spiced horchata. Uh, with that, we also got a concha. I love my conchas. Um, so, really great coffee. Like I said, go ahead check them out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the small little B-roll film. Uh, they do get a little busy. But yeah, go support small businesses. They just opened up, like I said, two weeks ago. They started from COVID and it's just so cool to see them actually go from, you know, like they did pop-ups at a farmer's market and now they have their own location. So that's super awesome. Uh, so yeah, like I said, if you guys are in the area and you guys Latin, Latin inspired coffee drinks, uh, go ahead, check them out. With all that being said, we're gonna go ahead, get back to the shop. You know, it's almost time to open. We got an hour to opening, but you know, I always get there a little early so that way I can, you know, prep for the day, make sure we got everything that we need. And yeah. I bought something. I bought us all shots. Nice. Here's a shot for you. Come here, Sebastian. <laughs> I know they're nasty. I got you this one. Is this supposed to make me feel better? Yeah, so Sebastian's just feeling a little under the weather today. So I figured we should all take some shots. So we took, we're taking the wellness. This is the ginger lemon cayenne. They're very spicy. I gave him elderberry because he's the one who's feeling a little under the weather. So I figured Cheers. we can all try and take some together. Oh, look at that. The one-handed. Can I do it? Oh, I did it. There we go. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Holy God. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cheers. Wait, you guys should all stand right there so they could watch oh, your faces. No, no, no. <laughs> there you go. What about you? That's not fair. <laughs> it's okay. I'm the one recording now, so. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Oh all right. Feel better, Sebastian. Cheers. Ooh. That was pretty good. I like mine. Oh. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. Oh. Because these are more preventative, so, <laughs> you know. Got it. Good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a jump shot going. So, he wants to trade in a few pairs or cash out. So, we got the Team Reds. Uh, what is this called? The Clay Brown 500s, Pine Green 3s, some Acid Wash Dunks, and some used... Noirs. So 
He's gonna go ahead. Wait, what was the deal again? So it was for all five pairs. It was ten seventy. So yeah, so so we were. I offered him ten eighty. He said he wants eleven hundred. He said he'll take the jump shot for eleven hundred if he makes it. If he misses it, ten seventy. So Let's do it. I'll win ten. All right. So if you want to go ahead, take off the hoop or the basketball. I get warm up or yeah, I get... we'll give you one warm up shot. Let me let me make this a little straight for you. All right. Yeah, like right about right there. Let me. Let me go into wide angle mode so people can watch. Uh, right. warm up and one shot? Yes, if you make it on the warm up, it does not count. It does not count. All right. Oh, ceiling, ceiling is low. All right, for all the marbles. Oh. Oh, so close. Oh, I'll take the 10 <laughs> <laughs> like, Yeah, I'll just do that one. All right, that's cool. That's cool. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a handshake for that one. There we go. All right, all right. Now that they left, you know. You know how it is. Let's get that. I've always wanted a pair, never really had a chance to get them, but I told myself, be patient because someone's gonna come in and sell you one in the size that you want in used condition, and that's exactly what happened. So I paid 560 for these guys, not a bad price at all. So uh, I know you guys watch, so thank you guys for watching and coming by and shooting the shot, giving me $10 off even more for the shoes that I wanted. So, um, you know, I still paid what I would normally pay on shoes like this, but I'm gonna keep these. So another one added to the personal collection. I think I've added about maybe eight or nine pairs to the personal collection ever since I opened up the shop. You know, it's usually cause I, like if I get a good deal on something, like I, I gotta keep it, you know? So uh, kept these, paid them out for the rest. And word of advice, if you are new into reselling or trying to, you know, really get to the next level of reselling, try not to buy personals because that's just money that you're spending out of your pocket that you're not gonna get back to, you know, put into something else. I mean, obviously you could always sell it down the road, but if you're in that grind of like needing to hustle in order to reach your next goal, do that. I'm only taking a few personals um, just because one, my sneaker collection is super small, so it's not like I take a lot of shoes, but um, you know, and I only take the shoes I really, really want. And I'm very specific around the prices, condition, and sizes that I take. So it's really hard for me to add personals because I'm so strict on myself. But just wanna, you know, throw that in there for you guys. Deleted scene, um, behind the scenes uh, stuff, I don't know. All right, Chris, tell them what, what's going on. We're about to go to Sneaker shop in Montclair. Say it louder. We're about to go to a sneaker shop in Montclair. I don't know what it's called though. I don't know either. So, I guess it's new. They said they compete with our prices. So we'll go see. Yeah, we'll go see. So, we ended up closing like 25 minutes early, just so that way we can go check because you know we got stuff to do after. So, uh, we're gonna go see. I mean, obviously, even though we put it on YouTube as there and there are competitors, um, you know, we just wanted to check it out. You know, maybe they have different stuff or I don't know, maybe they have different prices. Maybe we should bring them a shoe and see how much they offer you. But also maybe they know who we are. If they opened up, they might, you know, I don't know, maybe, yeah, I don't know. we'll see. So anyways, Chris, what do you, what do you have on, on body today? Just, we didn't get your fit check. Yeah, it wasn't a good one. Just a black Carhartt shirt, some like cargo shorts, and then just some shadow one, lows, the OG tongue. They're super creased, but I got them for a good deal. Yeah, you always show us the tongues. That's what you did with your almas too. You're like you the, to. the tongue. It means a lot, it means a lot. <laughs> All right, we're here. Can I wear your fours? No. Oh, it just doesn't look good with my outfit. Well, even though they're black, I don't know. In the war. But. What, what stores are by? 
I don't know, I just know it's upstairs, so I think when you walk in, it's to the right. By the House of Hoops? It is the House of Hoops, huh? Yeah. But they get nothing. No, they don't get anything. They get nothing. Last time I got something there was the, uh, the, the white, like, Jordan 1 highs with the red outline. It looked like crinkled paper. What are they called? Oh, the Phantoms? Yeah. And yeah. I thought I hit it, like, really good. <laughs> It, it wasn't with, good. With me videotaping you, do you feel like they're the YouTube star? No. I like all the attention's on us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the YouTuber now. Yeah, Chris the YouTuber. It is pretty dead already. And it's only close six. No, I, the mall's open till eight, nine. So they, they have to stay open till eight. Yeah, I think so. All right. We we came, we came once, but it was expensive. It is expensive. It was expensive for tacos. All right, this is Chris's recommendations right there. Tacos. All right. What's it called? I have no idea. I just know it's upstairs. So I think it's this way though. Yeah. I know, I almost crashed into you. <laughs> that, that lady put her blinker on super late, and I thought she was going to keep rolling to the... She, did, she just She just hard. kept going. Yeah, so here's House of Hoops. They never have anything, really. Always, I can't even find mids in the mall anymore. This mall's pretty small, too. It is? Oh, yeah. I don't, that's why I'm saying it's still in a mall, even though the mall's like dead. It's coming up though. They have the AMC, they're building AMC. Oh, they're cleaning. Rivers. It's cleaning. The Galleria. That's what it's called. <laughs> Please check us out. We just opened up uh, last Sunday. We're gonna give business cards out to everybody. I don't know if you guys could scan that QR code right there on the YouTube, but it pops up right there. We're open every day, 11 to 8 p.m. We buy, sell, trade. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, you guys can comment down below, or you can hit us in the Instagram DMs and we'll respond to you shortly. And if you guys wanna take a look around the store, we have uh, clothing right here, and these are all in sheets so nobody can touch them um, but I mean if you guys want to take them out that's cool but we sell V-Loan, Fade, Supreme, uh, Cause Figures, we even have some accessories for sale and if you guys want to knock off 20 to 30 bucks on some shoes we have a basketball court right there if you guys want to check it out and then all our shoes will be on the left hand side right here with sizing and pricing on the bottom and then on the right hand side as well. We're gonna be doing some work still with in terms of like accessories around the store. Um, Cause I need to move these hats right here. I actually need to move these hats. So we're gonna have a sick hat collection go down. But yeah, that's pretty much it the store for now. Appreciate my guys at Holy Ground for coming by um, and introducing themselves. They're a neighbor of mine, check them out. They're in Upland, California. I'm sure you guys already know, but if you're not, feel free to check them out. Peace.
hey, really quick, before we jump to the very end and I give you guys my conclusions about the video, I just wanted to throw in our Black Friday deal because I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload before Black Friday or not. But anyways, make sure to stop by, follow our Instagram at Holy Ground Shop to stay tuned with all of our other deals that we're gonna do. But off the top of my head, I know we're gonna have a used pair of mochas for like 220. Like that's a steal right there. You could resell those, you could wear them, do whatever you want with them. I don't care. And then uh, the whole store is gonna be buy one, get one 20% off. Uh, for sneakers, clothing and accessories, 25% off. Like, you know, I don't think there's gonna be anything that's not on sale. So make sure to stop by. I think you guys can find some good deals. We're also gonna have other steals lined up and we're also gonna have free things to give away. So should be a fun day, should be packed. So hopefully we, guys, we see you guys there. Uh, and also second is I just, you know, if you guys are watching this, make sure to check out the last video. We're giving away a Nike swoosh sign. That's going to be an awesome decor piece for anyone's room. Uh, we normally sell them for 40 bucks. The goal is to hit 300 likes on that video before we do the giveaway. I believe we're at like 250, so only 50 likes more. And, you know, we're, I think I only have 2K views on that video, which, you know, normally we've been averaging around four. So hopefully we'll get there because I definitely want to give that stuff away, but we'll do more giveaways like that in the future possibly announce that in the next video so stay tuned for that but anyways let's get back to this vid all right so uh we just left the mall chris just went home uh we were just kind of talking about it you know we like to see all the different stores in the areas and one obviously like as a business we want to you know just check out the competition see like what people are doing maybe it's similar maybe it's different uh, see how we can also, you know, do better as our own business. But also, you guys know me, I like to try and support other businesses. I know how hard it is. I know in the business world, it's really cutthroat. And, you know, that's just not how I want to function. I don't think that's how, you know, Jesus would function. And I want to kind of, you know, love people the way Jesus would love people. And I think part of that is to, you know, just show love and like that's awesome that you know he's young opened up a store that's a lot of people's dreams not a lot of people are willing to do that or take that risk and so that's awesome if i can go show him love like i'm gonna do that and same thing i did the same thing with dope kicks you guys have seen videos where i did that heart and soul uh i always talk about the other stores that are around here too and so um that's kind of why i just wanted to make this random video it's not really going to be like one of our normal episodes that we are transitioning into it's going to be more like kind of like a vlog style random thing but um yeah you guys saw all their prices were you know some shoes were a little bit higher um you know and that's fine like like all the hyped ones you know like black and white dunks uh what else was there like some of their lot dunks were just a little over but like hey that's not too bad like everyone's taxing on those things you know uh, I mean, except for us, just putting it out there. We don't really, we don't really tag. We charge market on everything. So, um, you know, but for the most part, all the other stuff was, you know, very comparable to our prices in store. So a lot of the retros and some of their mids and stuff like that were, were kind of similar. So, you know, it's not a bad place to shop if you guys, hey, if we don't have something and other stores don't have something, like we might as well push you in a direction for you guys to get kicks because as a business, it's not just about hoarding our customers, but giving you guys an experience so that way you guys can get the shoes that you want at the prices that you want as best as we can, you know? And so if I don't have a shoe, but they have a shoe, I might be like, hey, go check them out. Like they might have it and you'll go home happy with a pair of shoes that you wanted, you know? And that's that's the goal of a business is to make the customers happy. Of course, we have to make money and all that stuff, but hey, like my goal is to bring you guys good content, bring you guys all the sneaker knowledge I can, do what I can as a business owner and just show love because I know how difficult it is and I know how mean people can be. So with all that being said, I just want to end it out here. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Remember to stay holy and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.